Corona. We don't want to have our ugly mug. That's a good idea. Mug in the way. <laughs> so here we so, are. Oh, wow. Two minutes from totality in Svalbard. People across the world viewing with us in. Porca puttana. No, just keeps disappearing slowly, slowly, and so quickly too. It'll be gone in just a moment. Vedi la fisica come predice quello che succede. Guarda che si sta tutto. This is wonderful. Just the edge of a sliver. I didn't know a sliver could get that small. We are now a minute away from totality. Siamo capaci di capire cosa succede. It is creeping. Once you think it can't get any smaller, it gets more <laughs> small. I've never seen this, Eric. I've seen so many, you know, so much footage, so many uh, eclipses when this is happening. But I've never yeah, seen no this tiny, tiny sliver. Now they're probably going to get ready to remove the filter any minute now. So. We get to see this. It's there, mate. It's there. 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 And it's gone. Right. Now, are they going to change the filter for us? Please. We wait. Oh! There it goes! Oh, goodness! That is Utterly fantastic, isn't it? There's the oh, corona. There are the prominences we've been talking about. Wonderful. This is totality from Svalbard. And look at the side, the top left corner, you see hints of the Bailey's beads right there. Isn't that right? Absolutely. And we've got these, those are the Bailey's beads just disappearing. But we can also see this beautiful corona, the outer atmosphere of the sun, which we can only see during a total eclipse of the sun. We didn't even know about it until people witnessed total solar eclipses absolutely stunning images from Svalbard of this total solar eclipse ladies and gentlemen this right now we are witnessing in its total complete glory what is a total solar eclipse so beautiful absolutely stunning and just i think take actually that. what what we've got there eric is we've got a couple of prominences uh, that are showing up at nine o'clock and eleven o'clock on the solar disk absolutely beautiful Is that moment of hush, of awe, as you're seeing something so you know, antithetical to what you've normally seen in the sky. It's, it's this magical moment that brings you into a whole incredible other sphere of how, how celestial events work, how day and night work. Oh, there's the time oh, of so so coming. Wonderful. Wow. Absolutely that is wonderful. That's called third contact. That's when the moon just moves away from covering the sun. And that first brilliant spot of light from the sun returns to Earth. Then this is what I would call a totality. We saw all oh, we saw Bailey's beads, we saw promises, prominences. We're seeing right now the diamond ring. And really what why it's called a diamond ring is at first I didn't think of this, but you see it. It looks like it is a diamond ring. You see the diamond on the edge of it. The ring is around the whole uh, sun, and so it, it, it it's called what it looks like, <laughs> essentially. And that's going to get brighter and brighter until, in the end, it overwhelms the camera, and they're going to have to put the filter back on. So make the most of these final moments of seeing that incredible view. Wonderful. Absolutely gorgeous. And I, I, I'm betting they're putting the filter back on right now, Paul? Yep, that will be it. That, what, that's what they would have done. So until the, the sun actually gets brighter, uh, we won't actually see that. But we will see that thin edge, that thin crescent reemerge. But what wonderful sights in Svalbard. Absolutely amazing. And one thing that I wanted to share with you is a very special image that uh, Matt Francis just uh, showed with us. Um, well, let's let's bring them in. Oh, this is uh, there. There it is. There it is. This is the sun 
coming out of to this is the moon coming out of the sun ending of totality and we're seeing the beginning of the crescent on the other side of the road is what we're seeing uh, and so just to bring to mind to you one final countdown clock that we have uh, there's one final thing that's going to happen